Okay, so if you did these noses already, then you should be able to understand what this is. Uh, for those who are new to this, please pay attention. So we have uh, four or five different types of noses. So this is going to be your front view sample here. Um, you have position one. Uh, well, actually, nose number one, nose number two, number three, number four, number five. Okay, front view, right? Okay, so we're going to say this is your standard nose, right? This is your, for, you know, circle, right? Then we're going to do the number two. So I don't know what shape that looks like. That could be like an egg. Number three is more like a just an oval, an oblong oval. Number four is more like a oval that just fell down. Number five is just pretty much a regular square. So these are your nose tips. So, you know, when you say the baby carrot, when we're doing the actual face, um, the advanced face, then these are your shapes of baby carrots, technically. So, excuse me, baby tomatoes, technically. A square tomato, interesting. All right, so now we're gonna do the baby tomatoes and the mini teacups, see? Baby tomato, mini teacup. Now look at this one here. This is a baby, baby tomato in a mini teacup. Uh, this one here is a kind of a fat baby tomato in a mini teacup. And this one here is pretty much a baby tomato mini teacup. All right, so that's your next step. And you have your other step here where you have your nostrils here. So you want to be able to draw them light as first. Now pay attention to these two, number two and number three. You see how these nostrils here, you're going to bring these up. Okay. Bring these to the side. Okay. And these on the bottom. Now notice they're light. I just went light with them. If you go too dark, that means you're committed and it gets confusing. You don't want that. So now you want to be able to define it. You want to put something under there to indicate. All right, see? You have these here. Opening it here. Opening it. Okay, this one is different. All right, so what you want to do with this one is curve that around so your nostrils for this one is going to be like a pig right and then you know if you didn't get this you got you got the gift to rewind okay so this one is a little bit more special this is called the perfect nose we call it and to make more sense of it i would say just do a quick shade under there that really helps out when you do that okay so that's your front view. Very simple. I did this in a little bit over three minutes. So now we're gonna do the side view right here alongside with it. All right, I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna do the side view first and you're gonna see why I'm doing this first. Now notice how it's a little bit different to where now it's taking a little bit different shapes. If you notice. It's going towards that way. Okay. Here, this is the four, as far as number four, it's going to look like number one on the side. Okay. Uh, five, we're looking at an angle square. I would say this angle is probably be better, easier. Okay. So now, this might be looking a little different on the uh, example, but this might be better than the example. All right. So, I would say this time your baby carrot is going to be going at an angle as well. So just like you have in your advanced faces. If, you, if you're confused right now, that means you didn't do your advanced faces. So I'm not feeling sorry for you. Got to do your work. Okay. So here again, you have this going. These are your baby carrots, by the way. It's the baby carrot hotline. 
Now, as far as this, sometimes if you, uh, for the number four, sometimes it might be a, a bump here or it might be smooth, but I'm going to give it a little bump right there just to stay with the, the form there. Let me give it that. Okay. And then I want to go with, uh, now this one here is still a little bit challenging, but, um, you want to be able to solve that to get that out of the way because you're going to for this one you're going to have like maybe one nostril showing and then you do the baby carrot that'll be a little easier for you okay man the camera shows every flaw <laughs> okay so now you're going to put your nostril here you see how that's on the side now you're gonna draw this light just like you did before. So just you're just doing one side. You're gonna bring this one up. See, some people. I'm just gonna keep reiterating this. Some people like to make two and three look the same because they got something going on in their mind. I don't know what it is. And then this one here, your nostril is right there. That's a little bit different. See, the nostril pokes out, helps this nose poke out here, but from the four, it's kind of going inward. If that makes sense. And you pretty much already solved this one here. And then after that, you want to be able to make sure that your nose are in order, meaning that your nostrils, you want to define that. Define your nostrils here. Okay, define them. See there? Define it right there. And then so that's your front. This is your your side. Now check this out. Your side is similar to your three quarter. Now guess what the difference is for the most part. All you have to do is just put a piece of a nostril on that side. And that's your three quarter. See, put a piece of it right here. That's your three quarter. Even here, just a tad bit. Got to be careful with the three because that's the people with the long noses. No offense to anyone that, that's sensitive about their long noses or their fat noses. But even on this side here, you put another nostril here. And in here, you kind of sneak one on the side there. You sneak it on the side right there. Okay. So we have your front three-quarter and side in one lesson. We did, we did this under eight minutes. So you're going to do... Uh, I want to say what two rows of each two rows of the front two rows of your side and two rows of your three quarter you have your worksheet already there we're going to do the shading a little later okay so that's your assignment go to it